Chapter 8 Friends The bell rang and the children picked up their bags. Good afternoon, teacher. They sang, ready to dash out of class. As Beneath walked past Anisha's desk, the boy stuck out his leg. Beneath almost fell but saved himself in time. Oh, sorry, Anish. He called out cheerily as he walked away. On the way home in the bus, Saima said, Pinit, why did you say sorry to Anish when he tried to trip you? I know. Anish is such a bully and instead of teaching him a lesson, you say sorry to him? Oh, it is okay, Saima Pavni. Anish is not a bad boy. I don't know why he tries to hurt me, but he is not a bad sort. I know why he tries to hurt you, Bins. He told me once, he thinks because your father is in the army, you must believe you are brave and strong. So, he wants to show that you are a cry baby. How, How funny! funny. <laughs> I think we should do something about this, don't you? Yes, but what and how? The next day, during break time, Anish found himself face to face with Beneath near the water cooler. He quickly swung out his right arm, but Beneath stepped back. Why do you keep trying to hit me, Anish? I'm not your enemy. If you don't want to get hit, why don't you hit me back? Are you a coward? No, Anish. I am not a coward. When I grow up, I will join the army like my father and fight in real wars if need be. Cowards are those who hit others for no reason. Why should I hit you? Anish kept quiet for a while. Then he put out his hand towards Beneath. If we become friends, will you take me home and introduce me to your father? Beneath shook his hand and replied calmly. Of course, why not? You can meet my dada too. My grandfather was also in the army. He was in a real war. He can tell you lots of stories of bravery and courage. Wow! May I come and meet your father and grandfather beneath? And you are my friend, aren't you? Of course. Immediately, Pavni, Sujit and Saima said together, We, we are, are all, all good, good friends, friends, Anish. Dash out. To leave hurriedly. Trip. To knock your foot against something while walking or running and lose your balance. Exclaimed. Cried out suddenly in surprise, happiness or other strong emotion. Bully. Someone who hurts or frightens others, forcing them to do something that they do not want to do. Teaching him a lesson. Punishing someone in order to prevent a repeat of his or her bad behavior. Cry baby. Someone who cries a lot without good reason. Puzzled. Unable to understand. Confused. Coward. A person who is not brave and is eager to avoid danger, difficulty or pain. Courage. The ability to control your fear in a dangerous or difficult situation. You have learned that we often use short forms called contractions in spoken English. Example, I'm here instead of I am here. He's late instead of he is late. When we write a short form, we replace the missing letter with an apostrophe. When we say it aloud, we do not say the missing letter. Listen to these sentences and repeat them after your teacher. I'm playing with a ball. He's playing with a ball. She's playing with a ball. It's playing with a ball. We are playing with a ball. You are playing with a the ball. They are playing with a ball. I have a new teacher. He's a new teacher. She's a new teacher. We have a new teacher. You have a new teacher. They have a new teacher. I'll play with the ball. He'll play with the ball. She'll play with the ball. It'll play with the ball. 
We'll play with the ball. You'll play with the ball. They'll play with the ball.